Okay, hi, my name is Grace Walters, and I will be analyzing an article I found in The Economist titled, Global Drugs Firms Under Pressure from American Politicians. So there is a spike in the drug spending for retail prescription drugs. In America, we spend the most globally on these pharmaceuticals. And as you can see in this graph, which is depicted in billions of dollars, there is a steady rise in the spending of money on these prescription drugs. They even have the forecast for the next decade ending in 2027 and it hits the peak of $550 billion. And so because of this, senators and people who work for the Trump administration have been working on new policies and forms to try to alleviate this overspending that we're seeing. So to first analyze, we're going to look at the external environment. These are all aspects of the environment outside of the firm that directly affects the firm. And so there's seven segments, and because we're dealing with policies and laws, we are going to be looking at the political and legal segment. So it has to do with regulations, consumer privacy, lobbying, taxation, regulations, and other things of that nature. And so these factors can either be opportunities for these companies or threats to these companies. So in relation to this article, this is obviously a threat to the pharmaceutical companies. These new forms would standardize the pricing by matching more expensive pharmaceuticals to less expensive pharmaceuticals and kind of standardizing the prices so there isn't that big gap. And that is a threat to them because they will be losing a lot of their profits. And so they responded by saying, if you cut deeply into our profits, we will not be able to continue doing research. And so that just shows how influential the political and legal climate is to this firm and their profits. And through this example, you see how important it is to be aware of your external environments and the seven different segments that may affect it. And just as a counterexample, a opportunity that could arise from a political or legal segment that is separated from this would just be if they lower tariff prices, maybe on importing or exporting goods, then you would want to move into that market because it's desirable for your firm. But for them, it ended up being a threat. So another way to apply um, our information to this article is these forms are going to boost the competition in between American regulators and the pharmaceutical industries. So competition is boosted with the five forces. There is the threat of new entrants, bargaining power of suppliers, bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitutes, and rivalry among competitors. And so you can see in this visual that they all they don't all have to exist, but they all work together to create that competition between firms. And so in relation to this article, I found that the bargaining power of the suppliers and the, aka the pharmaceutical companies was really relevant because they are large corporations and there's few of them and that's what gives them a lot of power as well as the buyers not directly buying from them. They have to go through Medicare and then the product is necessary because in most cases it's health related so that's what gives them a lot of power and you can see in this case the effects of having that high bargaining power. The suppliers are able to dictate the price and skyrocket prices for pharmaceuticals where if the buyers held more power, say that there was more buyers they bought directly, then the prices could potentially decrease. And also I found in relation to this article was the importance of substitutions. Because they are moving away from name brand pharmaceuticals, they are moving into the biosimilar markets, which Europe has been dominating for the past couple years. And so these forms will create that drive in America to compete to find new substitutions for those name brand products. And because the new now the companies are more equally balanced and the industry is growing, that's really going to drive the competitive nature of this business. And this example just uses substitutes to show the possible consequences of not keeping up with global competition, say if they weren't 
to engage in this competition, they would fall behind and lose more profits than there already are due to these new policies. Thank you. We're excited.